Hey guys, Austin here. Welcome back to another Minecraft mob battle here on the channel. You guys actually destroyed the light goal last video, and I'm really excited to, to see that actually happen. And the video actually did pretty good for itself as well, as you guys may or may not have seen. So I am happy to do another mob battle today. Of course, as always, if you guys are new here, maybe don't know how this works. I always have a light goal for these videos because I used to do mob battles a bunch on my channel, and then I sort of got tired of it i guess you could say so i started to choose a like goal so if this video hits 40 likes we'll do another mob battle and i'm proud to say that we got another epic fight planned for you today so today we have ignis from the cataclysm mod facing off against the leviathan from the cataclysm mod if you guys watched the last video leviathan was fighting in that battle as well and we got another underwater themed fight today so this is gonna be a pretty fun one and i hope you guys are excited and ready for it and feel free to always let me know in the comments what fights you would like to see next and i may or may not pick them no guarantees and let's do this so we got ignis here 450 health 10 armor bars versus leviathan 400 health 10 armor bars let's get it Also, Ignis is pretty slow in the water, so just a heads up on that. He does, uh... <laughs> he does have a little bit of trouble move moving around. But we'll see how this goes. And Leviathan also has trouble aggroing to him, I've noticed. He, he kind of has to get hit first, and then he's like, how dare you? So we'll just see how this goes. Also, anyone wondering, this is the music that actually plays during during the Leviathan's boss fight. Oh, Ignis is going into his stage 2 Dark Souls fighting stance. Leviathan firing his beam of light. His Godzilla beam. Yeah, Ignis is very much a disadvantage in the water. You can tell he can barely move around, but that's literally how this fight has to go because <laughs> because Leviathan's kind of a fish out of the water if, if he's fighting on land. He can't, he can't do much. So we have to handicap Ignis. But Ignis seems to be do, doing fine for himself, right? He just can't land some ground attacks. Alright, Ignis got rid of his sword. He's doing his magic attacks now. He's onto his phase three. Leviathan taking huge amounts of damage because he grabbed Ignis when he was doing his magic attack. And Leviathan heals back to halfway. Ignis did not expect this. This is actually a pretty long fight. We might only do a few of these in this video. Oh, another beam coming. It actually missed Ignis, which is funny enough, but... And now he's using his magic to try to, to try to hit Leviathan. And yes, again, for anyone wondering, these are both from the exact same mod. You are able to fight both these in your world. So I gotta ask in the comments, who would you rather fight? Ignis or Leviathan? But speaking of, Leviathan has won the first round. So let's move on to the second one. Also, I figured out the issue with the double spawning that was happening last video. It's because I was trying to spawn underwater on the ground. It was like double spawning. So I have to spawn it in the air underwater. So anyway, two Ignis versus one Leviathan. Let's get it. Also in testing, it was playing Ignis's battle theme, so I I'm curious on why it's now doing the Leviathan's battle theme. Not that it really matters, but oh my gosh, they're so slow in the water. But they did a chunk of damage to the Leviathan already. But we know the Leviathan does have a healing move if it, if it really wants to use it. Oh, it it's chomping on Ignis right now. The first Ignis, at least. It hasn't done its Godzilla beam yet, though. It's just trying to escape. Yeah, I can't really help it, like, hugging the walls and stuff of Leviathan. It seems to not know really what to do with its AI when it's fighting a, a ground mob like Ignis. It's doing its best, though. But looking like it's about to die. Oh, nope, it did its heal move. It's back to halfway. <laughs> it's massive explosion attack. Nope, there's the Godzilla beam. 
massive damage to the Ignis it hel it's holding in its tendrils right now. And that Ignis has gone to phase two. First Ignis still fighting. I've often said with the Ignis mob battles, when it's 2v1, as long as one, one Ignis stays in his first form and launches the uh, magic ball attack constantly, and the second one is like the close range magic ball attack, they normally are unstoppable. And looking like they have defeated the Leviathan. I mean, that's about as I would expect considering how evenly matched the 1v1 was. So we're going to KO the Ignis and we're going to move on to, we'll go with the semi-final round because I feel like the more I spawn in the longer these fights will take. So one, two Ignis versus one, two Leviathans. Let's get it. Honestly, the best thing the Ignises could do is, is 1v1, I would say. For the chances to be higher. Which seems to be what might be happening here. But their AoE attacks will be hitting each other. <laughs> and it seems like Leviathan has a much bigger attack pull for AoE attacks. With all of its landmines and explosive magic. And both Ignis are of course on phase 2 already. I don't know if I hear the hyper beam firing up. <laughs> but I like how most of the time Ignis is just in its jaw fighting both of Ithans about to about to reach phase two yep there they go the Ign the one Ignis is on phase three I'm seeing for anyone wondering phase three of Ignis is when he blows up his shield he'll slam his shield on the ground which does a ton of damage and he'll go into full magic attacks or attempt to at least but one Ignis, it looks like, has fallen. Second Ignis. He's doing his best to fight both of them off underwater. Blocks are being destroyed. I'm going to have to rebuild the arena after this. It's fine. I'm kidding. All right, well, both Leviathans have won this round. That's about as fair as I would have expected. All right, let's move on to the final round. I'm going to do... I'll wait till they, they, they fully disappear. There we go. I'm going to do four Ignis versus three Leviathan. Let's get it. One, two, and three. And I'll slash myself one more time with this so I can see. Let's do it. Oh, no, no battle theme this time? Okay. What is that attack? What? Hello? What did you do? Open a rift in space time? Yeah, well, oh, I guess we got no battle music this this round. It's fine. I guess it's spawned in too many. <laughs> it doesn't know whose theme to use. Well, one Leviathan's already in its space too. But I've never seen them do an attack like that. Interesting. But honestly, gotta give it to the developers for the Cataclysm mod. Like, they do an amazing job at just... Ever, having every individual boss have its own unique move sets and abilities and sometimes you just don't even see all the abilities in the first round yeah they're like all stuck right now in in that like rift they're trying to break out of it it's kind of funny because they're all stuck in place they're they already have killed one of the leviathans they're like we got our own landmine attacks look at us firing our magic balls you'll never beat us yeah, I've never seen Leviathan use that. Maybe he does that whenever he's, like, outnumbered. Hard to say. But yeah, they're, they're all, like, stuck right now in place. But they're all still alive. They're all in their phase two, it looks like. Oh, here comes the beams. That... I don't even think that did damage to them. Alright, well, they're all free now. They're slowly floating down. <laughs> the Leviathans are like, uh, we don't know what to do now. Well, one of the Leviathans has entered its phase two already. You can tell by its glowing tendrils. The other one is creating another space-time rift, but outside the arena, so it doesn't seem to be doing much. Yep, both Leviathans now in phase two. But that means if they die now, it's over. Somehow one of the Ignis has made it all the way to the other side of the arena, firing its magic attacks in phase three. 
Yeah, I think they defeat another Leviathan. Yep. So all four Agnes are still alive. They're all like phase two and three. And they're fighting the, the final phase two Leviathan. Honestly, they, they did so well just because they were all frozen in, in one spot and they were able just to coordinate their attacks better. Now they're all just doing their magic attacks. Oh my gosh, look at that. Overpowered. The Leviathan's like, what do I do? Help. He's just sitting in the corner over there. Let's try another beam attack, but it's too late. He has fallen. All four Ignors remain alive. Around the same amount of health also. Guys, that is going to do it for today's mob battle. I do hope you all did enjoy. If you did, as always, consider leaving a like, subscribing if you're new, and a comment down below. Remember, 40 likes and we'll do another one of these as soon as I possibly can. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Have a great day, everyone. Stay safe. Goodbye.